Shanti, yeah, this, this lady. Namaskar sir, my name is Preeti and I have done political science PhD. No, say it, say it. Sir, I have done political science today, so I will ask a question about politics. Today is an election in India and all parties are doing dirty comments. And we don't say that it will be more bad than it will be more bad. When you have an interview in such a country or outside, you have never done it for anyone. 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 बैड वर्ड या इस तरह की लैंग्वेज यूज नहीं की जो किसी को डिस्ट्रेस्पेक्ट करती हो जैसे आपने अभी साउथ कोरिया की ही बात की तो आपने जब रिलेशन की बात की तो आपने बात की कि 1950 1950 में भी ये हुआ था और आज भी ये हो रहा है तो आप जो इस इस तरह से हिस्ट्री को प्रेजेंट को बिल्कुल मिचोर करके बात करते हैं या अपनी कंट्री को जिस तरह से प्रजेंट करते हैं और आप जो इंटरनल जो कमेंट होते हैं नेताओं के सब के तो आपने उस उन सब में खुद को कैसे बचा के रखा है क्योंकि तो आपके कमेंट उस तरह के नहीं होते हैं वट वट लेट मी लेट मी स्टार्ट इन अ रिवर्स ऑर्डर विथ योर क्वेश्चन एंड देन क्लब द टू यू नो टॉक अबाउट द नॉर्थ ईस्ट एज वेल द uh, you know, I, I can see the problem and uh, wherever community has reached a certain number, uh, I can see the need actually for schools. Uh, and we have today uh, Indian, you know, uh, there are uh, a number of Indian schools which have uh, got a track record of uh, creating, uh, you know, campuses uh, outside. Uh, what will help there? Uh, you know, I, 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 I know many of them. Uh, I certainly, you know, the two schools in Japan, actually first one of the, they started first in Singapore uh, when uh, I was there at that time. So I'd be happy to speak to them, but there are other chains as well, and some of them are very well-known, uh, you know, uh, uh, schools. Uh, and uh, I will, uh, what I will do is I will uh, connect them up to ambassador, but I would also have a suggestion to the community. You know, for anybody coming to establish a school, it's not easy, you know. So to the extent that, you know, a set of people from the community can help them, walk them through, give them a sense where to go, help them with, you know, the, the actual facilities. Uh, in some cases, local governments have contributed to it. So there is that part of it also. Uh, so, but I, I totally appreciate, you know, uh, the, the need for that because uh, also, you know, cost is one element, but the other is also, you know, uh, at least for some years, you know, all of us would like our children to have some exposure to Indian schooling because that is very important, you know, uh, even if they are continuing to live in Korea, it's part of their uh, actually attachment uh, to their motherland. So, I, I take that on board. Uh, on uh, on the uh, you know the question you asked uh, uh, about the northeast uh, you know look uh, my own sense is the potential of of the northeast is now beginning to unfold uh, because what was happening was uh, we used to talk about uh, look east policy, act east policy, but we were not even looking east and acting east within our own country, you know. And if you look uh, at how difficult it was to travel, you know, uh, if you if you see the the uh, uh, the uh, sort of uh, the level of business, the uh, attention given, the resources given, uh, you know, it was it was actually very disturbing. And that actually has been one of the changes uh, of the last 10 years. And uh, I mean, which is why actually uh, what our colleague mentioned about Manipur is so disturbing, which is, you know, having uh, taken, uh, you know, put in this much effort, having seen how much really uh, the states of Northeast India have changed in the last decade, you know. Uh, I think there is, uh, obviously everybody uh, today, uh, you know, is, is uh, I mean, 
distressed is a very mild word at at uh, what is what is happening in uh, in uh, manipur uh, so i do feel that you know in many respects northeast itself can act as a bridge uh, but it has both a cultural side to it but it also has a as of you know a physical contiguity side to it so today uh, you know uh, our relations with bangladesh for example have changed tremendously okay so you see you know uh, railways uh, roadway road trains waterways goods are going to bangladesh ports electricity is being supplied so it has given that whole area uh a uh, sort of i would say a kind of a boost now we are also trying to see if in a in a similar way we can benefit from bhutan that by connecting bhutan more more closely uh, and you know i was talking uh, uh, again uh, uh, about uh, i was briefing our our korean colleagues about some semiconductor decisions we made so uh, last week cabinet had approved uh, three uh, three projects one was a fab which will come up in uh, dholera but uh, in gujarat but one is a fab which is coming up in in assam now you know to me to see a, a major production you know that to a, a, a high technology uh, production uh, project uh, coming up in the north is a, is a big statement Uh, it it actually says that you know this is something uh, which we take very much to heart so the the problem which our colleague raised you know in terms of uh, how do you safeguard our borders see uh, one of our issues has also been that we have had open borders with uh, with uh, uh, with myanmar uh, that in fact we have a system we had a very unique system where you can travel 16 kilometers either way it used to be much more before Uh, without uh, actually uh, uh, travel documents so we have unfortunately after all these you know tragic events we have decided now uh, that to suspend that provision uh, and actually to uh, to in a way um, i would say harden uh, the the uh, the border uh, situation it is it is unfortunate uh, you know uh, in terms of how did this happen you know uh, how could government let it happen uh, i you know again uh, look there is nobody no there there cannot be anybody who would regret who would not regret what what is happening there i mean wha- wha- what's happened there is truly tragic and it is tragic because of the close intermingling of communities which has then t- you know led to uh, created this uh, this degree of violence Uh, which becomes very difficult uh, really uh, to to head off uh, so uh, i i i think the entire wishes of the country are very much with manipur i mean people would like to see uh, normalcy return they would like to see law and order uh, get back they were, you know uh, this is not any you know this is not the india that uh, and, and certainly not the northeast uh, which anybody is is uh, um, uh, hoping for Uh, on the carbon neutral uh, because i saved that last question you know that question for the last the political science question uh, the carbon neutral we this carbon tax you know we we think it's very unfair that this is a way actually of uh, putting a barrier on trade by using a certain uh, criteria uh we've already made it clear that we would find ways of responding to it but you know one part of it is uh, uh how to how to protect our trade but there is the other part which is that we also have to decarbonize in our own interest so uh, there are uh, you know a lot of efforts underway here i think uh, very much uh, you know one one part of it is of course uh you you can see that renewables have grown uh, tremendously uh, in india uh but uh, the uh, you know again in india we have a range of range of issues you know there are cities where pollution levels are very high uh, 